everyone, Sammy Bailey here, the author and illustrator of the Illustrated Encyclopedia of Ugly Animals and the Illustrated Encyclopedia of Dangerous Animals. Now I've been working on something super exciting over the last 12 months and it is the third and final edition of the Illustrated Encyclopedia series. It is called the Illustrated Encyclopedia of Peculiar Pairs in Nature and it's out now. Now this book is a non-fiction book all about the beautiful, the strange and the downright disturbing partnerships that nature has to offer. And I wanted to celebrate this book by inviting a few special guests to share their favourite animals. Because as we know, choosing a favourite child is really tough. And this is like choosing a favourite child. So, are you ready? Let's find out which ones they have chosen. Hey, we just wanted to say huge congratulations, Sammy. This book, like all your books, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's about uh, peculiar pairs. People we, say that about us. Or wasn't, we don't feature. <laughs> uh, Next book? We maybe? don't feature, but we did. I did like the Emperor Shrimp and the Spanish Dancer. Because I do like to dance. Right. And did, so, you, did you have a favourite? Oh, favorite? yeah, no, no, absolutely I yeah. did. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on. Hang yeah. on. This is mine here, Kylie. Yeah. This is the Fire Urchin and the Carrier Crab because it reminds me of us. I'm like the Carrier Crab and you're like the prickly thing on my back. Fair. Coming for a ride. That's actually, it's actually it's fair, a ride, it's isn't actually it? fair comment. Uh, well done, uh, Sammy. It's just a beautiful, beautiful book. Congratulations. Well done. Hi, everyone. Nat Amor here. And despite what the millions of people around the world might be claiming, I am Sammy Bailey's number one super fan. Uh huh. I am. Look, I've got all her books. I've got Ugly Animals. I've got Dangerous Animals. And I've got her latest one, The Illustrated Encyclopedia of Peculiar Pears. And I can even say it. If you haven't read a Sammy Bailey book yet, then you are seriously missing out. And I suggest you go and grab this one to begin with, because it's awesome. So in this book, there are all kinds of really cool peculiar pairs. But without a doubt, my favorite is this one. All right, you might be thinking, oh, it's a cat and a rat. That seems pretty boring. No, no, no. Included in it is a mind-controlling parasite. That's right. Look, mind-controlling parasite, cat and the common rat. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie. I'm just going to give you a little bit of a rundown, okay? Um, okay, technically, it's not a peculiar pair. It's a peculiar trio, but we'll let Sammy have a pass on that one. So, essentially what happens is there's this parasite, like a little... who lives inside cat poo. <laughs> okay, it's already funny, right? That someone lives in cat poo, finding it funny already. So, when the rat goes and eats the cat poo... Yeah, if you're going around eating other people's poo, then you deserve what's coming. So, the rat goes and eats the cat poo, eats the cat poo, and then the parasite goes inside the rat and messes with like its fear receptors and makes the rat not be scared of the cat anymore. In fact, not only not be scared of, the rat thinks it can be best friends with a cat now. So it's all like walks up to the cat and it's like, yo, what up cat? And the cat's like, <laughs> oh and like munches the rat. And then when he eats the rat, the parasite goes back into the cat, comes out in its poo again. The whole thing starts again. It's like something out of some crazy sci-fi movie. It's amazing, but it's like true as well. So without a doubt, that's my favorite, but there's heaps of really cute ones as well. They're not all gross and weird and sci-fi-y. Some of them are really quite sweet. Um, so I suggest that you check out this book because it's absolutely awesome. And because I heard a rumor, that it's the last one in the series. But I hope that's not true because Sammy Bailey, you promised me that you were going to do an, ex in an, <laughs> an illustrated encyclopedia of stinky animals. And I want my stinky animals. Although a rat that eats cat poo is kind of stinky. Hmm. Hi there, I'm Will Kostakis and my favorite peculiar pair from the illustrated encyclopedia of peculiar pairs are the banded mongoose and the common warthog. Why? Because of a little thing called mutualism. Now, what is mutualism? That's just a fancy way of saying they look out for each other. Basically, the banded mongoose picks ticks and other nasty creatures off the common warthog. So the common warthog gets to be groomed and the banded mongoose gets to have a little bit of a feed. Pretty cool, huh?
my favourite of the uh, peculiar pears has got to be the brown-throated three-toed sloth and the aptly named sloth moth that lives in the fur of the algae that sits on the sloth. It acts as convenient camouflage and a very happy midnight snack for the sloth. It's got to be my favourite because I really have respect for any animal that can sleep for up to 15 hours a day, which the sloth does. I mean, currently I'm only on 10, so I've really got some catching up to do, if you don't mind. Yeah, thanks. <sighs> Hi everyone, I am Zana Freylon and I think I might be Sammy's number one fan. I love this book so much and it is an absolute delight to be able to help launch it out into the world. I was asked to choose my favourite peculiar pair and I must say it was a very difficult choice. But I ended up stumbling on the Colombian Lesserback Tarantula and the Dotted Humming Frog. And I've decided that these are my favourite pair because the frog moves in with the tarantula for protection. Meanwhile, the frog then protects the tarantula's egg sac from being eaten by insects and ants. It is so amazing and it reminded me of my favourite books as a kid, which were Frog and Toad. So, Sammy, if you don't have anything else in the works, I think you need to start writing Tarantula and Frog. It'd be a great spin-off. But this is the most wonderful book. I am so delighted to be holding it in my hands. Congratulations, Sammy. It is amazing, and you are amazing. My name is Laura Wells, and I love everything to do with the ocean, so my favourite peculiar pair is the Mola Mola, the ocean sunfish, and the Laocin albatross. The Mola Mola is a huge fish that looks like a pancake and when it lays on its side and allows the Laocin albatross, one of the, our biggest seabirds, to land on it and eat off some little parasites, I think that is really, really cool. I wouldn't be letting a bird land on me to eat parasites. Laocin and albatross are really important species. They live in remote places and quite often they eat plastic. So the fact that they can work together with the Mola Mola for mutualism and support each other is really great. And one way that we can all support a healthier planet is to be curious, get educated, and learn more about our peculiar pairs because the more we learn about the animals and our ecosystems, the more we will understand them, the more we will love them, and the more we will want to save them. Hi Sammy, it's Andrew McDonald here, author of The Real Pigeons Books. Congratulations on your brand new one, The Illustrated Encyclopedia of Peculiar Pairs in Nature. It's a ripper, and I'm excited to share my favourite pair with you. It is the Eastern Screech Owl and the Texas Blind Snake. Uh, and I can really relate to the owl in this partnership, because this owl, I love the way that it grabs those little snakes, those little worm-like snakes, off the ground and drops them into its nest to clean up all of the dirt, eat the parasites, and it lets that little snake worm live for a little while, um, just until the cleanup of the nest is done. And the reason that I relate to this owl so much is because it reminds me of this guy. My, my robot vacuum cleaner! It's basically the same thing, except of course the owl gets to eat its own vacuum cleaner at the end of the cleanup, um, which is kind of handy. Anyway, Sammy, congratulations. Oh, hang on. Congratulations on the book. Um, it's awesome. I hope you get a million readers. Uh, all the best. See you next time. Bye. Hi, my name is Andy Geppert, and I'm here to talk about Sammy's latest book, The Illustrated Encyclopedia of Peculiar Pairs. Quite a tongue twister, but quite an incredible book beautifully illustrated. I don't know how long that would have taken. I'm guessing a long time. Uh, full of stunning, uh, interesting facts as well, and a lot that I had no idea about and wasn't aware of. And when going through this book, there are a few things that really stood out to me. I have just finished um, my book called Australian Backyard Birdies, so I'm a little bird bias when it comes to these sorts of things. So I leant towards the bird ones in the book. There were some things about the bell miner and the eucalyptus working together the painted honey eater and the grey mistletoe, the vampire finch and the nazla booby were pretty cool. Um, but my favourite of all of them uh, was the ocean sunfish and the lazen albatross. What's really cool about these two uh, is that they live in completely different worlds um, and the sunfish, when it goes up to the surface, it's happy to laze around on its side long enough to let the albatross land and walk around cleaning off the parasites and various things that kind of attach to the fish's body. 
Uh, so the albatross gets his food and the fish gets a clean um, and somehow they've come to this arrangement and agreement and they're working incredibly well together uh, to survive and thrive. And it's such an amazing, interesting, unusual fact that um, it really connected with me. Uh, birds are so clever and have so much personality, but in this case, so does the fish. So um, I think it's awesome and unique. And there's so many stories just like that in Sammy's book. And um, it's a fascinating read and it's going to keep you entertained for um, many, many hours. Uh, Sammy, it's amazing, well done, and you should be very proud. Thank you. Hello, Sammy, and congratulations. I love this book. It is absolutely awesome. And you can see by all the post-it notes here, I had a hard time deciding which page was my favourite. But I came up with this one, and it's the page about the Nile crocodile and the Egyptian plover. Now we have plovers that live near us and I've always thought they're not necessarily the smartest birds. And when I saw the picture of this, this plover sitting inside a crocodile's mouth, I thought, hmm, all plovers are particularly smart. But it was really fascinating to read how the, the crocodile lets it sit there in its mouth while it picks out decaying food and parasites helping the crocodile and the plover gets a feed amazing information but it did make me wonder about the first plover that did this really what was it thinking oh here's a crocodile's mouth I'll go and have a little look inside yeah it seems really brave but I still think they're probably not the smartest bird around congratulations again I love this book and I know lots of families will absolutely have the best time pouring over all the wonderful information within well done. Congratulations, Sammy, on your beautiful new book. I've loved every single one of your lovely illustrations in this book, but I've chosen my favorite pair. And my favorite peculiar pair is, drum roll, the Colombian lesserback tarantula and the dotted humming frog. And the reason I think I love this peculiar pair so very much is I love how brave this frog is to join the tarantula in its, um, in its nest and that they have a nice communal relationship where they help each other, even though that tarantula could so easily kill that tiny little frog. And that just really appeals to me, always looking out for each other. So congratulations again. Absolutely adore this beautiful, beautiful book and all the very best. Bye. Hi everyone, it's Costa here and I can't begin to tell you how excited I am about Samantha Bailey's new book, Peculiar Pairs. What a great way to educate people around the most important and valuable aspect of nature and ecology, which is connections. And Peculiar Pairs is really exactly about that getting to know and understand the way our ecosystems work. And then once we know and understand it, then we can actually stand up and protect it. As for picking a peculiar pair, oh, that's too hard. There's so many and I've learned so much about having a look through some of these pairs. I didn't know which one to pick. So I've actually gone with the golden tipped bat and the Australian garden orb weaver spider. Why? Because bats always get a rough deal because everyone's kind of scared and afraid of them. And spiders, of course, people think about spiders and go, no, we've got to eradicate them. But as, as part of the, the um, building block of ecosystems, invertebrates are critical. They're not only predators, but they're predated on the next levels up the food chain. So I really love this one. But of course, the Scarlet Banks here in fire, the Lord Howe Island stick insect and the Melaleuca, these connections, these intimate understandings, the, the, the plant butterfly and the ant, and then of course the glossy black cockatoo and the she-oak. Everyone knows this one, or if you don't, get to know it because it's a wonderful way to build these connections. So congratulations, Sam. And here's an opportunity to use this wonderful book as a resource to tell yarns. And it's yarns and quirky stories like this that can change our perception 
around the animals and the ecosystems that are our home. So uh, yeah, can't wait to read and learn and share these wonderful stories.